Hi, I'm Luann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com, and I am with Frank and Frank. That's correct. Frank from Next Year and Frank from Continental. So, tell me, you are you are in a joint venture with Next Year. Continental is. Frank from Next Year, what challenge does Continental have that you are solving? So. Uh I would say challenges that we both have is, in, as we entry or entry the uh, autonomous driving is fully reliability, secure and safe systems at 100% of its time. So uh, as the driver is taking out of the equation, we both, both need to provide not only actuators as we did in the past that are there to convert the driver's intent into longitudinal or lateral motion, we also have to ensure that our systems are so well informed and so intelligent that they see whether the driver wants or doesn't want to be engaged and they do it in a non-hazardous way and convert it in the right way. So when you look at our technologies, Conti's advanced brake systems, which they are a clear leader worldwide in, and our, our EPS are so much alike. We are looking at the same architectures when it comes to cyber security or, or safety in the architecture and, and of course the uh, redundancy of the systems. Frank, what are you bringing to next tier? What we are bringing, what we are getting, is we're combining our know-how. I mean, as, uh, as I mentioned, as you mentioned, we are leaders in electronic braking, they are leaders in, uh, in electronic steering, let me call it electronic steering, yep. uh, electronic power steering systems. In automated driving, those systems will not work separately. They have to interact. And this joint venture brings this interaction uh, in a way uh, together. So this, this joint venture shows how the system interacts on an organizational level. So once the two of you have combined efforts, what do you see the biggest change will be? Because right now you're saying 2025, you'll have level five autonomous driving. So uh, will that bring it up any further or closer to uh, us or will it just enhance a part that you didn't have for it before? I, mean, I would not uh, go into a roadmap right now and change roadmaps. It definitely will accelerate the development. I wouldn't put years on it right now, but it will make it easier for both of us to advance our systems towards uh, the fully automated driving without putting any time frame uh, yeah. on it. But maybe to add to that. I think in the past what we've seen in the chassis control domains that we both operate in, we were fairly linear thinkers. We had a, an idea, concept phase, development, productionizing. You can't do that in this new era because information sharing is key. The brake system will be much better informed if it gets the information from the steering system and vice versa. And of course we also can communicate up to Conti's autonomous driving controllers that way much, much better. So I think what we are seeing is a much bigger need for integrated collaboration. And our engineers to be at the same location, being able to prototype rapidly, getting to see the benefits is, is, is key. That's a little bit what both of us have learned from the Silicon Valley uh, philosophy of uh, rapid development too. When you look at the motion control, I mean, if, if, you, if you drive your car, you have to you steer and brake uh, all at the same time. You know, the car drives automatically, yet it's doing the same thing. He has to steer and brake uh, laterally, longitudinally, and vertically control the car. Those systems cannot act separately anymore. They have to really come close together. And therefore, uh, I think there's a huge benefit for both of us to have deep, one of the leaders, uh, we were on yeah. an this video. Oh, one go of ahead. the leaders. The leaders. <laughs> one of the leaders in each of his fields uh, working together. It can only make things better. Right. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you very much for your time.